Well, yesterday, this will come as no surprise. <laughs> but you know who reversed directives that let transgender public school students use the bathroom of the gender they identify with, which is also a big reversal of a campaign promise made by you know who. Take a look. As your president, I will do everything in my power to protect our LGBTQ citizens. If Caitlyn Jenner were to walk into Trump Tower and want to use the bathroom, you would be fine with her using any bathroom she chooses. That is correct. Yeah. You know, later in the show, we're going to be talking to transgender teen Gavin Grimm, who's taking his school district to the Supreme Court over this. But really, what's the message to transgender Americans and to transgender kids? Isn't it hard enough to be in high school or grammar school identifying in a different way than other people see you? I mean, does this, does this help or is this just more chaos for people to flip out about? I mean, with kids, why would they do this? To you know, a lot of the people, oh, sorry, Cindy, a lot of the people against it are mm -hmm. talking about danger or fear when in actuality the statistics support the fact that it's the transgendered kids that are being right. bullied and hurt on this journey right now. Yeah. Well, and, yeah, go ahead. and so I think the, the, the hard part right here is we're talking about the most vulnerable people in our society, mm -hmm. our yeah. children, in their safe space of school. And as we all know at that age, school-age kids can be some of the meanest kids you've ever seen without questions of what gender you identify with yeah. or your sexual well, sexuality or anything else. The, they, 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 his surrogates always point to, oh, a predator could go in the bathroom disguised as a woman or something. I don't even yeah, understand that's it. that's the argument. Yeah, but that is what you call anecdotal evidence, which they like to use to make policy. Yeah. Like one guy, an immigrant, let's say undocumented, attacks somebody in part of the country, so they have to send millions of immigrants back to their countries based on that anecdotal evidence. That is not scientific. There's not even anecdotal evidence okay. that a transgender no, person has happened. ever ever no. they, they you know and they're, they're just trying to go in the bathroom y'all they're just trying to go to the yeah, bathroom they're right. not looking for yeah. your kids yeah. but don't you the think straight people are the people you need to be worried about <laughs> but are they are they, are they It seems to me that they are appealing to the religious right on this one. That that's who their constituency is. Mm -hmm. And let's just take everything away from people, people who are in need in this country, especially something that is socially uh, iffy with religious people. It's yeah, interesting that Betsy right. DeVos might have been yeah. for this. Yeah. Will you explain that? Well, well uh, the Department of Education and the Justice Department both have to work together to enforce Title IX. And that's what this is about. Title IX says that no person in the United States shall, on the basis of sex, be discriminated against in our schools that, that receive federal funding. Mm -hmm. So Betsy DeVos apparently was not supportive of, of this rescinding, rescinding of, of the Obama administration directive, which basically said, listen, you cannot discriminate against someone based on sex, and sex needs to be looked at, that term, very broadly. Mm -hmm. It also includes sexual orientation and gender identity. Right. Now, the Trump administration is saying, no, 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 no. It should be looked at a little more narrowly, and sex just means gender. It just means male and female. So that's what I think the Supreme Court needs to decide mm -hmm. once so and Betsy, for all. What, so Betsy, Betsy reneged, went back on what she yeah. truly believed. Uh, She's starting uh, to like her for a second. Apparently she did. Apparently she well, did. Well, I think in order to stay within the gun. administration, she, she felt that she had to back him up. Maybe if that she were me, have resigned. then she should have resigned. She exactly. have resigned. I was disappointed in Donald Trump with this because one of the things that I did like about him when there was a lot that I didn't was that he stood up for the LGBT community. That's very yeah. important to me as a former teacher, having seen some of these students and, and really they're in a time of, 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 of great difficulty oh. and no one really takes a minute to, to step inside their shoes and understand what they're going through and they're criminalized as as if they're automatically going to do something wrong just because they're in that position where they're, they're thinking about their identity in a way that maybe maybe I don't understand personally or someone else doesn't understand personally and people and are trying to make this to bully it's true it's also, also though I want to make yeah. the point because conservatives are trying to make this about a state's rights issue and wanting to empower local communities but before you think about states rights you have to remember to think about civil rights and constitutional rights right. and that comes Equal first always under the law. and the state it's, doesn't yeah. get to say that your civil rights don't matter so my hope yeah. is that the Supreme Court will review this because I'm deeply concerned about children who are facing these to. challenges yeah. feeling more yeah. and more isolated and marginalized well, there's, no, like there's, no deeply concerned. Yes. there's no protect difference everyone. between uh, civil rights <laughs> as an American you are protected under the law. It doesn't say based on your sexual identity. It doesn't say based on your gender. It's a, you, you're a citizen 
you're protected, you're supposed to be protected, and this suddenly says, well, not really you, because you're not like us. And I think, you know, I think a lot of folks would like to hide behind religion with this, but yeah. Jesus never, no. never threw anybody away because he didn't understand or he didn't. Jesus wasn't like that. I don't know who everybody is talking about, but this, if Jesus... Well, they pervert the religion. Well, they kind of yeah. mess it, they mess with it because, you know, I'm sorry, I don't, I saw Ten Commandments, I went to school, Ten Commandments, didn't say anything about transgender people. Yeah. Well, yeah. Didn't say, it said thou shalt not kill. Yeah. Yeah. It's also, but people kill all the time. The argument coming from some on the religious right is, uh, it's, it's not about, uh, we're not discriminated against transgender, what we're, they're legislating, they want to legislate on, on fear. They want to say, you know what, if someone is pretending to be male yeah. and going into the men's bathroom or going, pretending to be if female and going into the were female's bathroom, if that, was something, if that was something that were happening as often yeah. as straight people abuse children, right. I would say, hey, we should talk about this. But we don't have, there's no anecdote, there is nothing. And I get it. Yeah. There isn't one I single get case it. of a transgender person abusing just, a child in the bathroom. Could, could the argument not be that a straight person would pretend, would put on, you know, some sort of act? I, I'm just trying to see the other side uh, yeah. from the parent's perspective. Could a straight person put on a facade and pretend to be, just, you know, whatever to get to perpetrate? That's, 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 that's the argument. Let's separate that's two things. Absolutely. First of all, this is gender identification, yes. not sexuality. Yes. Yeah. So right. this yeah. isn't that's about right. straight and gay. Yeah. This is a right. gender identification. Exactly. So right. I think that's the important thing here is we're perpetuating a language in all of these discussions that the, they're putting on young people right here and supporting the people that are bullying or the people that don't understand this. Mm -hmm. I they're think the problem them. is they're empowering it and everyone should see the movie Normal. There's a, more, a movie with yeah. Tom Wilkinson and I remember watching it years ago and for the first time, although not all of us have someone in our lives that's gone through this journey, mm -hmm. it helped me understand the journey from the inside yeah. out, which helps people, I think, I, when you're talking about, about legislation. How about the fact that Donald Trump, yet again, has lied to the American people? Yeah. That's the big story. I mean, that he's is. not running the show. He's not running the show. Well, I, you know, there's another, there's, there's a whole lot of presidents, and none of them's name starts with a D. Okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. Nobody who's running this country's name starts with a D and ends with a T. This is an agenda by a whole bunch of other folks that we as Americans have to be careful of because we're basically known for at least having the ability to say, hey, maybe I don't know what you're going through, but I, I've got your back. Yeah, That's exactly. what Americans basically have always done. So you think this President Bannon is behind this? I think, I do. Well, I do. I, 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 I think, I think it's Sessions. Well, Jesse Sessions. You know, President Sessions, President Bannon. They're like the mean team. The yeah. mean yeah. team.